Now, I'm certainly no expert on spiritual warfare, but it seems that one of the enemy's favorite tactics is to come after our confidence and convince us to compare ourselves to other people. That comparison can manifest itself in all sorts of negative, one-way conversations inside our head. Sarah is so much better at talking to people than I am. I'm, I'm just so shy. I, I trip over all my words. Um, I would give anything to be as funny as Andrew. I can't even tell a knock-knock joke without stumbling over my words. If my hair looked half as good as Karen's, which her, her hair always looks great, I'd be happy every day. This really isn't a comparison. That's the actual truth. I really do wish my hair looked better than, as good as Karen's. But in all seriousness, there's frequently repeated saying that comparison is the thief of joy. And if you ask me, the originator of that phrase is a genius because comparison is the voice that screams, you are not enough. That for some reason, we not only listen to that voice, but we also believe it over and over again. That's precisely why many of us stay trapped in a spiral of doubt and discouragement that can lead to some unmerited shame. As soon as we think we're in the clear, to jump onto steadier ground, the spiral picks us up, pulls us in, and spins us around even stronger than it did the first time. That's really a dumb way to live. And if that spiral weren't enough, there's this. Comparison is never ending. It's pointless. No one ever wins. You may be picking up on the fact that comparison is not my favorite thing. And honestly, you have no need for comparison. The temptation to look from side to side as you size up competition is not from God. It's just one of the ways the enemy likes to distract you. Don't fall for it. The Lord has so much more and so much better for you. He wants you to look up and reach out and confidently walk into the life he's given you. Because you are more than enough, just as you are, there's only one person in the world with your personality, your gifts, your passions, and your abilities. You really are beyond compare. So why settle for side-eyeing when you can get out there and get after it? I want to share with you um, what Ephesians 3, 14 through 21 says. For this reason, I bow my knees before the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth is named, that according to the riches of his glory, he may grant you to be strengthened with power through his spirit in your inner being, so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith, that you, being rooted and grounded in love, may have strength to comprehend with all the saints that is the breadth and length and height and depth, and to know the love of Christ that surpasses knowledge, that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. Now to him, who is able to do far more abundantly than all that we ask or think, according to the power at work within us. To him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all generations, forever and ever. Amen.